I think it's fundamental. Uh, how can you lead somebody effectively if you can't put yourself in their shoes about what motivates that person? What's what? Uh, usually, it's easy to be empathetic too. I think in the army, which is you've grown up in their same. You, 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 we don't go out and insource people. We don't headhunt and bring guys in in mid-career. The exception is what I just talked about with you know, re recruiting right. these guys out of uh, off Wall Street or something. But uh, we haven't since I've been in the Army. And so it's easy to be empathetic if you let yourself. And I think um, it, it makes it allows you to make better informed decisions. Uh, and we say we're about people first, but I think we have too many leaders that are, are not empathetic and they don't reflect upon uh, how your decisions are affecting the lives of those you lead um, and assuming a little, taking a little bit of risk on things and, a, and, and allowing a little bit of a break to uh, ensure that uh, the soldiers realize you care about them. And, and, and there's a there's a line there, Max, that, uh, you know, between officers, you know, taking care of soldiers. I, I know, you know, I have a, uh, I have a captain and a sergeant. Uh, when you hear uh, my sar the sergeant about, he says, yeah, he really taking care of me, my platoon sergeant. He let me off for the day here and that kind of stuff because I've been working hard. When you hear about officers taking care of the soldiers, it makes sure they're ready. They're trained and ready. That's how officers hooked. So it's different perspectives I get from my two kids. So, uh, but to wrap this up, I think uh, the, key, the key fundamental, one of the key traits I think of a really great leader is they have a sense of empathy for those that they lead uh, that makes them more effective.